Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and it'll help my channel out a lot. So hit that subscribe button. Here's a sneak peek of what we're going to be making today. We're going to be making some power wash resin coasters. This technique is so fun and I like to do this when I have leftover resin. Um, if I have clear resin, I'll just mix in some glitter, pour my resin into a silicone mold, but we're going to make a coaster really quickly together. So this is just some clear resin I had left over. I'm adding some pink rainbow glitter from Laura's Art Corner. I'm going to mix that in really well and pour it into my silicone mold. And I mixed up my resin off camera, but if you're new to resin and you want to see a tutorial showing step-by-step -step how to mix your resin, I will link my Milky Way coaster tutorial down below in the description box. Be sure to go check that out because it's great. It's full of great information, tips, and tricks. So after I mix my glitter and my clear resin, just pour it into the, a silicone mold, a coaster mold, and that's it. Um, I was actually using the liquid diamonds for this one, so I didn't um, need to add any heat or anything to pop bubbles. Um, that resin is a very low viscosity so it has hardly any bubbles so here we are 24 hours later I popped it out of the mold and now we're gonna get on to the fun part so for this you need spray paint I like to use flat white or black and Dawn power wash liquid these are just a bunch of resin coasters I had made previously um, just like I had showed you in that last clip with just glitter and clear resin I'm spraying them with the power wash and it leaves like a foam which is really fun. It leaves, leaves like little circles and bubbles. Hit it with your spray paint. Make sure you get the top, sides, everything has good coverage. And then you go in right away and hit it with some water. I'm just using water out of a water pitcher, um, but you could use your hose. You obviously wanna do this outside, but right now um, I don't have like a hose hooked up easily so I just use a pitcher of water it works just fine and that's it um, let them dry we're gonna do some more there was one with the white that I didn't like too much so I'm gonna just go over it with black spray paint this time and if you're right up on the piece you'll get a really concentrated kind of um, burst of the power wash um, foam so stand back a bit and it'll get more evenly dispersed or hold your hand back when you're spraying then just go in with your spray paint this is black spray paint and hit it with your water I do this very quickly I don't let it sit too long at all because you don't want those um, power wash that power wash foam you don't want that to start running around and um, moving because that's gonna mess up your design and then I let them dry for 24 hours, did a clear resin top coat on them. And I wanted to include this clip of how when I do my clear resin top coats, I paint the backs of my pieces with liquid latex and that prevents um, the resin drips and it peels right off. Check it out. There was a bunch of resin drips on the back of this piece because when I do my top coats, you know, I coat the sides, I coat the um, top really well so then the resin gets down on the bottom of the coaster but the liquid latex peels right off along with the resin drips so I wanted to show you show this to you guys in case you didn't know I will link my liquid latex tutorial down below as well and my tutorial on how to do a clear resin top coat if you want to see how to do that I just cut that out of this video because um, I have another video showing you how to do a clear resin top coat so here's how they turned out this is the pink rainbow from Laura's art corner it's a super gorgeous holographic and I have a coupon code for Laura's art corner as well um, so I'll link that down below if you guys want to check her out and um, get some glitters and she has pigments for your resin and all kinds of good stuff and this was actually a big round I had made I think this um, technique is really fun it gives you some fun patterns on pieces that you're just not happy with and I've also tried this previously with just regular Dawn dish soap not the power wash um, variety so if you guys haven't seen that video I will leave that at the end card screen of this video um, just click the picture and it'll take you straight to it that set of coasters turned out really fun and um, it's a lot of fun to do this technique I hope you guys give it a try let me know what you think down in the comments I hope you like this video if you did please leave me a like hit that thumbs up button don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already and go check out a few of my other 
videos that would really help out my channel a lot and let me know which one of these was your favorite i kind of like this one the most the pink rainbow that we made thanks again for watching i hope you guys are all doing great and i will see you soon for another video bye